Are you looking for more ways to do business amidst the coronavirus right now? If so, this is the video you're gonna to wanna to check out. I'm gonna share with you my survival guide and the ways that you can adapt so that more people feel confident in doing business with you and you can adapt to the current environment. Take a look. Hey everyone, Kevin Small with 2Q Lead Generation Strategies. Thanks for being here. If you are brand new to our channel, what we are all about is helping real estate agents just like you generate more leads, convert them, and have more transactions. So if you'd like more tips, more strategies for growing your business, this is the place to be. So make sure you subscribe. We'd love to have you here as part of our community. Now, in today's video with, uh, uh, you know, recording date on this is March 26th of 2020. And, uh, We've been uh, told that we should self-quarantine and stay home. Uh, that's been going on for, I don't know, a week and a half, coming up on two weeks. And uh, a lot of people are nervous. Um, I know a lot of my clients, they've talked about a lot of their, the prospects and people that they're working with. They're just hesitant and they're waiting and deciding what they want to do. So in that sense and with that context, that's the purpose of today's video is I want to share with you some best practices, some things that will help you uh, survive this time and hopefully kind of help kickstart your business and make people feel confident in doing business with you. So the key here is it's all about adaptability, right? There is a very long um, case study list <laughs> of businesses that failed to adapt to what was going on and they have gone the way of, of, of all the earth, right? So, I mean, you can look at um, Blockbuster. They didn't adapt to the streaming world and Netflix just took over. And you can go with example after example after example. But the key here, and this is the lesson, is it's all about adaptability. I still have agents who are going out and doing business even in the current environment. They just have to adapt and do it differently. And so, like I said, that's the purpose of today's video is I want to share with you what some of those practices are. So with that, um, what you want to be thinking about is you want to be thinking about taking your business and turning it virtual, right? So everything that you do, you want to have a virtual replacement for it. So as we walk through the process, here's what you want to be thinking about. So number one, having some kind of a virtual consultation. So obviously you can still just pick up the phone and use this for that purpose. Um, but it's also better if you were to use something like this. So I use Zoom um, for a lot of my client meetings. Um, so you can have video and have conversations with people. Uh, they do have a free account, so I highly recommend it. Zoom.us is where you're gonna go to sign up for an account. Um, and like I said, that's the platform that I use. In fact, that's what I'm actually using to record this video is uh, Zoom. Um, what's nice about it is, again, it's the video, uh, there's video, there's audio, and I can share my screen and show people things. So that would be one uh, tool that I would recommend putting in your tool belt to help you survive this time period is Zoom, okay? The second thing that you want to start thinking about virtually is showing. So obviously you can pull a list of homes and send that to people, and just like always, they can go through and find the ones they're most interested in and cross off the ones they're not. Um, but then there has to be a way to show the homes that people um, are likely going to be interested in. So you want to make sure you've got a solution um, for showing homes virtually. So a couple options here. Um, one option is I know a lot of clients that when they've done relocation business and somebody's out of state, the way that they did showings was they would just schedule an appointment with the listing agent to go see the home. They would walk in and then they would just do um, like a FaceTime call, like a video conference call on their phone with the client and basically just walk them through the home and let them see everything. So obviously that is one option um, if you decide you wanna do that. The other option is again, you could use Zoom to do a virtual, um, to do a virtual showing with people. So let me pull up an example. All right, so you could just come here. Um, I'll just type in Layton and pull up a listing. So again, I'm using Zoom. This is how I'm doing it is I can still be on camera, but I can share my screen. So let's say this is the home that your clients are interested in. You could kind of just go through and click through the photos and just talk about it, what they like, what they don't like. This is another way just to quickly do online showings, um, you know, help them uh, 
go through the comments and any of the other details about the home. So again, you could also use Zoom to handle showings like this, but regardless of how you do it, it's not the how that's super important. What's super important is that you have a solution for it. So make sure you have a solution for virtual showings. The third thing you wanna have is if you don't have a solution to have people sign documents electronically, you know, their purchase contracts and addendums and all the things that, all the paperwork that's involved with buying and selling a home, now's the time to do that. In the same sense, if you are working with a lender that does not have an online application process, you need to get a different lender because in today's environment, that is not optional anymore. It is a must. And so you've got to make sure that your lender has the ability to accommodate that. If they don't, like I said, it's time to shop and work with someone else that can do business electronically. Um, again, it's, it's just with the current environment, it's not really an option. It's a must have if you want to, uh, if you want to still prosper and, and do this. Um, so electronic documents are very important. Uh, you want to have a way of collecting the earnest money electronically. So whether they wire it directly to the title company or whether you just make arrangements to go pick up a check, whatever is going to make the most sense. But again, got to have a solution for the earnest money. Um, you want to have a solution for inspections. So a lot of times what, as you know, what happens with inspections is the inspector will go, they'll do their thing, and then they'll have the homeowner or they'll have the prospective uh, buyer come the last few minutes of the inspection and typically they'll do a walkthrough and show them what they've found. Well, we want to have the home inspector do that, but we want them to do it electronically. So again, you want to make sure that as you're shopping for an inspector that you can work with, that they're going to be able to adapt as well. They have to be able to do this virtually. So again, whether they just use a, a FaceTime, uh, you know, video conferencing on their phone, whether they use Zoom, there's got to be some kind of electronic, um, you know, virtual meeting that's going to happen to share the information that they found. So that's going to be a critical component as well. Closing is also a, a very important part of this process. So you've got to be working with a title company or real estate attorney that can handle remote closings. So whether it is that, um, you know, the office is, is sanitized after every closing or, or whether they just have somebody go out to the person's home and, you know, mobile notary and they're closing the, the, the transaction. Again, regardless of what that looks like, you got to have a solution. Um, and then lastly, having a solution to be able to deliver the keys um, once the transaction is complete. So again, you've just got to think about that entire process from start to finish and have a solution for it. Because once you have a solution for it, your next objective is to be able to communicate that to people that you're working with or your prospective clients. So let me give you an example of what something like that would look like. So here's an example of a post where we're showing, um, again, we're just talking through this entire process and giving responses to what it is that, that we do, how we solve this. Again, it's all about instilling confidence in people and letting them see that there is a process, there is a strategy. And again, if you're presenting that process and strategy, it positions you as one of the leaders, one of the forefront people in your community that is prepared to do business in the current environment. So again, this would be my recommendation is to put together something like this and start communicating it. So the strategy for survival, frankly, it's not a whole lot different in the sense of you still should be marketing and generating leads. If you don't know how to do that on Facebook, um, I'll put a link right up here that'll give you a, a link to a, another video that I've done. You can watch an entire tutorial of how to do it start to finish. So you'll see how to generate leads. But then once the leads are being generated, this kind of a post right here, where you're talking about your virtual home buying program or home selling program, however you want to phrase it. When you're talking about that, you want that to go out to the leads that you've already generated. You want that to go out to your past clients, your sphere of influence, that list of people that you've uploaded. If you don't know how to upload your contacts to Facebook and run ads to them, again, I'll put a link right here. You can watch that uh, tutorial and see how to do that. But this is my strategy, this is my recommendation to help you adapt and still do business in the current environment. Again, you've got to think in terms of adapting. Businesses that adapt, survive and thrive. Businesses that don't adapt, die. So I highly recommend that you take some time, put together your virtual 
strategy to make, make sure that people can still do business with you. And that's not enough just to have the pieces in place. The second part of that is you've got to be able to communicate that. If people don't know, it doesn't matter what you have in place, right? So get the pieces in place, communicate that message. And again, some people are still going to want to wait and that's fine. But if you express confidence and show a path to make this happen, there are people who will follow your lead, right? It's just a matter of demonstrating that confidence and having a plan in place. So that is my strategy recommendation for surviving the coronavirus is having a virtual strategy. Put the pieces in place. And again, people will follow your lead if you're leading with that information. So hopefully that video was helpful. Those strategies will get you thinking about, uh, you know, hopefully getting out of your fear and hesitancy and start thinking about strategically, how do I move forward? How can I, how can I progress? And how can I thrive in this environment? See, I find so many agents who are pulling back and they're afraid. And now isn't the time to pull back. That's not going to help your business. It's time to step up and lead and show people that there are solutions and that there are options. And if you do that well, people will follow your lead. So that is today's video. Hopefully you found that helpful. If so, make sure you give us a, a thumbs up down below. That certainly helps us. It also helps us know what kind of content you want us to create more of. So we appreciate your uh, support there. Also, if you haven't considered subscribing to our channel, please do that. Um, that way you'll get more tips, more strategies just like this every time we put out a new video and we put out new videos every single week. Uh, also, I am going to put up a couple of videos right here to where you can watch other tips and other strategies for growing your business. So uh, also make sure you check out the description down below. I'll put some, uh, uh, I'm going to put a link down there where you can download some of our top performing ad templates and some other information if you're uh, looking to consider other services that we offer. So with that, make it a great week. Keep crushing it with your real estate business. Be that leader, adapt and watch your business grow. Have a great week and we'll talk to you soon. Take care.